I think that, I mean, they're well documented. I am not the expert in them. But when you're in an industry or a field where you are one of the few, you have the challenge of always having to be seen as a groundbreaker. And, you know, I think about my engineering class, and at the time we had maybe 10% women. And all of the women who were in that class were exceptional. They were all significantly above average because they had already had to overcome so many challenges just to have the confidence to enroll. And when you're in that type of environment, you are constantly, I think, feeling like you are breaking new ground or having to lead the way. I want there to be more examples of women who have risen to leadership and executive roles that new women entering the field can follow. And that's something that, while it's absolutely true in business as well, I think it's particularly pronounced in the STEM fields where women are disadvantaged. They are, studies have shown that female scientists need to be cited more and have more publications than male scientists do in order to be seen as equally credible. Uh, all of those things that are systemic barriers to women reaching leadership roles are things that need to be addressed and uh, I think can benefit from a STEM-specific lens being put on them.